What's up troopers, my name is Neon and today we're talking about a weapon what has been really requested from my streams lately and I'm really glad I have used it so I just have to say to you guys thank you very much for actually telling me this gun, this is a really fun gun. The weapon we're actually talking about is in the marksman rifle class and we're talking about the V-Car. The V-Car is an absolutely amazing weapon and these are the stats for it. The firepower is 46, accuracy at 66, range at 58 with the handling at 46 with the rate to fire of 520 with the max magazine count at 40. So what makes the V-Car so much better than most of the DMRs? Well most of the DMRs actually can do a two shot. Most of the DMRs in the game are actually really good compared to the V-Car but it's just something special about the V-Car what makes it so good. So before we get into the video if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do and of course leave a like thank you very much. So because you guys requested this weapon so much I felt like I had to make a video on it and then when I was actually using this gun it was a really lot of fun. It's not a weapon where you actually think it has a lot of damage, but you'd be really surprised at the way it can perform. It actually reminds me like the old previous Battlefield title, like the M1A1. Now that was a really fun weapon, and that was like a trigger finger weapon. You can shoot as fast as you really want to. With weapons like this, there is a maximum fire rate you can actually shoot. Of course, it's only up to 520, but if you got the right trigger finger, then you'll be absolutely amazing with this gun, because how good it can really perform. Fantastic when it comes to the medium range, and really good when it comes to close range as well. You just got to be careful in what certain situations you're going in because you need to remember troopers that this weapon is not assault rifle. It will not perform like assault rifle so do not play aggressive with this weapon. You got to take your time with it because you just never know what situation you're going to be in. You might be getting aggressive and the next thing you know someone's there and they got you. I felt like what's so good about this weapon is is that the max magazine count is 40. I felt like when I was having a decent gunfight I felt like I can actually take down three targets and still have about 18 bullets left to my name. Well it's really good actually because having 18 bullets that's still plenty of rounds to at least take two more enemies out. So the fact is that one magazine can take out nearly five enemies is pretty good. A lot of weapons out there you need to just get one kill and you have to reload. But the fact is of how much damage you can actually do and how much ammunition you would have left is pretty impressive. So this gun is way more consistent when it comes to going to kills. The setup I'm currently going with right now is actually the standard dot site. This is my regular site where I go with all the time. You're going to see this in all the background footage for this video but the one thing I actually do like going for is the 2.5 thermal sight that actually is another thermal sight if you really want to go for it you can go for the 1.5 I felt like the 2.5 was really good it had that good plus on it and as a DMR you just need something a little bit more further of course if you really want to you can go for even more of a further sight with this gun I felt like the 2.5 was just enough for me I wanted a really close range sight and then a really good distance sight so my standard dot sight and then my thermal sight the 2.5 when it comes to the left side of the plus menu, there's a couple of things I actually like using. The first one is the short end barrel. What makes the short end barrel really good is it actually increases the rate of fire. Increases the rate of fire and that pushes up to 520 and it'd be really good. There's a couple of situations where like I'm really close quarters and I'm just trying to shoot the faster I can and I do. I just melt them guys super quick. It's just such a good meta weapon. But what makes such a good thing about a weapon like this, just shooting and all that, is the fact that when you use the short end barrel, you can shoot so much more faster but that's the thing you don't have to be shooting fast all the time you could just take your time just tap fire here and there and just control your target so that's what's so good about it is you know that you can have a really fast rate of fire weapon but you don't have to shoot that fast so the short end barrel is my first choice and then my second choice is actually the extended barrel the extended barrel is actually going to give me a better project velocity so it means I can actually shoot a way more further range and keep more consistent but I lose when it comes to rate of fire and that's the thing you think to yourself oh I don't really want to be losing any rate of fire with a weapon like this that would suck and honestly most weapons you wouldn't even like to lose any type of rate of fire but a weapon like this as I was talking about with a short end barrel is that not all the time you need to be spraying and praying you don't need to be shooting the fastest you possibly can most weapons especially a weapon like this you just need to take your time you take your time you're going to do really well so I feel like the short end barrel is for the close quarter to medium range and if you do need to perform a little bit bit more further or it's just a tricky target you need to get him then make sure you switch to the extended barrel because this is going to help you out when it comes to your range when it comes to the bottom side of the plus menu i was actually using a laser sight but really with a dmr a laser sight is kind of pointless so the one thing i actually have been going for is the lwg the lwg grip is very good because what it actually offers with this is actually better accuracy while moving so you can shoot with this weapon you can move left and right while aiming and you're still going to have a very nice accuracy
accuracy. Of course, if you really want to and move around even faster, you can go and just choose the specialist McKay and you'll be strafing left and right way more faster. So that will definitely be my go-to is the LWG grip. You gotta remember where weapon like this, like the V card, there's not that much spread with it because it's a semi-auto, so it's only by shooting by your own rate. So you don't really need to worry too much when it comes to weapon spread. Now we're talking about the magazine count. Of course, the main one we're using is the drum mag. What's good about the drum mag is it actually offers you that better recoil control, was pretty important for DMR. Better rate of fire, so that's increased once again because the short term barrel actually increases the rate of fire and the drum mag increases the rate of fire. That's what makes it so good. So you got a double increase of rate of fire. Of course, you got more ammunition because this actually offers you 40, but there's a couple of things you do lose from it. You lose a little bit when it comes to range and you lose a little bit when it comes to reload speed. So the close quarter drum mag is really for close quartered. The next one is also for the close quartered and this one is pretty much the same thing, better reload speed, recoil control and rate to fire. You do lose a little bit when it comes to range, but this is for just in case you run out of your drum mag magazine and you're going to switch to your close combat. And my last magazine count, this is going to be really good when it comes to your extender barrel because the extender barrel increases the range and the standard issue is going to be increasing the range too. There's a couple of things we do lose on this magazine though is, is that reload speed and recoil control and rate to fire so it's going to shoot even more slower than it previously did before but you're increasing the range once again. So the last standard issue is really something you should be only using for the extended barrel. That's the only combo you should be using is the standard issue and the extended barrel. But all the other ones like the close combat magazines they should be always used for the shortened barrel. And yeah and there we go troopers that is the V car setup a really fun DMR weapon. It's a way more different DMR compared to most of the other weapons. I feel like if you use it the correct way you're going to have a lot of fun with it. A really good weapon and I feel like more people are going to use it especially after this video. But anyway troopers thank you very much for listening to me talk. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, be a part of Pink Wigami. I'll see you on the battlefield.